Olá pessoal, estamos começando mais um vídeo aqui no Resident Evil Database. Eu sou a Monique Alves e nas últimas semanas andaram rolando aí pela internet, inclusive eu postei algumas dessas imagens, dos atores da abertura de Resident Evil original de 1996 se reunindo. E aí muita gente ficou se perguntando, meu Deus do céu, como assim? O que que tá acontecendo? Eles vão participar de alguma coisa da série da Netflix, de algum filme oficial de Resident Evil. O criador, a pessoa que causou tudo isso, vai contar pra gente um pouquinho desses projetos em que os atores de Chris, Barry e o Wesker, da abertura original de Resident Evil, estão envolvidos. Nesse vídeo eu trago uma entrevista, um bate-papo com Andrew Joseph, que é um criador de conteúdo aqui pro YouTube, principalmente. Ele é um filmmaker, ou seja, ele é um cineasta. E ele tá trabalhando em dois projetos independentes de fã-filmes de Resident Evil. Por isso que o Charlie, o Greg e o Eric, que são os atores do Chris, do Barry e do Wesker, participaram junto com ele das filmagens. E antes da gente começar esse bate-papo com o Andrew, eu vou pedir pra você já se inscrever aqui no canal, deixar o seu like, inclusive compartilha com aquele seu amigo, pra você ver toda essa história aí, sério, pra vocês verem juntos, acompanharem juntos e hyparem juntos essa história dos atores do Resident Evil 1 de 1996, reunidos agora em 2022 e trabalhando juntos. Hello, Moni and Resident Evil database followers. Uh, my name is Andrew. Uh, I'm a video producer. Uh, I'm a filmmaker at heart. And uh, lately, you've probably been seeing photos circulating the internet of Charlie Kozlowski in his BSAA gear. Uh, that is because he is helping me make a short film. Two, two short films, actually. So one of them is he picks up and plays Chris Redfield in today's day and age as a BSAA member. Um, so I... I uh, was able to get Charlie, Eric, and Greg here, and they all reprise their roles. It's a very, very short film. It's not very long, but I think it's pe something that people will like. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. That's one of the videos. The other short film I'm talking about is with Charlie again, but he doesn't play Chris Redfield. Uh, he's playing the Keeper. So I am making my own version of the Keeper's Diary, and uh, the initial intent behind contacting Charlie was asking him if he had wanted to play the Keeper, and he was more than enthusiastic about it. But once we found out that Eric and Greg were also coming out here, I was like, man, I gotta do something with these guys too. So that's why we kind of also made a short film where they kind of all reprised their roles. So keep an eye out for those. And then, like I said, we did another video where I kind of sat down with them and interviewed them all. And then um, another one of the videos uh, is a react video because uh, believe it or not none of them have ever played the game so <clears throat> i i thought it would be a cool idea to get them you know get their reactions while they're playing the game for the first time and there will also be a behind the scenes video you probably won't want to miss that one either uh, there's going to be a lot of cool stuff to come so my experience with the resident evil series uh my mom had rented a game called dino crisis which i'm sure you all know Uh, which is Shinji Mikami's uh, other known popular survival horror game, Dino Crisis, Dino Crisis 2, maybe 3. But she rented the first one, I, I don't know if it was in 2000 or 1999, but uh, it came with a demo for Resident Evil 3, and I was instantly hooked. So, Mom, if you're watching this, Thanks. This has been something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. Um, and I, I recently got inspired to finally do something um, after the most recent release of Welcome to Raccoon City. And, I, you know, I realize that there are fans of the movies out there and I'm not here to, I'm not here to rip on the movies. I'm not here to rip on the fans. We, we want you to watch, you know, my version of The Keeper's Diary. We, we love you all. We know that a lot of hard work goes into filmmaking, so yeah, um, but for me personally, those, those movies just aren't for me, they may be for you, but this is kind of why 
I'm doing this. Hopefully I can reach out to fans and speak to them in a way that the games have spoken to me over all these years. So as a Resident Evil fan, uh, it was probably the greatest experience I've ever had in my entire life, um, outside of maybe going to see John Williams live uh, play with the Detroit Symphony Orchestra, playing all those awesome scores I grew up with. Um, but meeting these guys was truly incredible. They were all super nice, super fun to work with. Uh, I know we ran a tight schedule, but they were very understanding. Um, and we just had a really great time with everything we were doing. Uh, Eric posted a video of, uh, you know, all of them playing the game. It was kind of funny. Um, so yeah, I did, I did a react video because none of them have ever really played the game. So I thought it'd be fun to, to you know, film them playing it and reacting. And uh, Eric kind of got up in the middle and, and made a, a Facebook video or, or something. and. It was pretty cool. Um, it was really cool seeing everybody's reactions. We didn't get too far into the game, but I made sure I got the the Doberman jumping jumping through the window and uh, the Jibble sandwich. Um, so it was very entertaining to see those guys play the game. It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it, but strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Our next step with that after the teaser gets released is to hopefully start some sort of crowdfunding campaign to make the full short film. Um, if you haven't seen the concept video, check it out. If you're a true hardcore fan like me, I know you'll love it. Um, but that, that was kind of the original intent. And then everything kind of fell together with uh, getting all these guys out here. And then once I, I found out that they were all coming out here for sure, I kind of wrote this little script for what everybody's been seeing on the internet uh, where they all kind of reprise their roles and I made like a short film where you know they they are all playing their characters in today's day and age and Chris Redfield is a BSAA member um, played by Charlie Kozlowski. Okay well that's it for me. Um, please follow Moni and the Resident Evil database and uh, if you want to follow me on my Instagram, um, I'm not the biggest social media personality, but uh, it's just Andrew Salo, S-A-U-L-L-O. Um, anyways, I, I hope you enjoyed this, and I really look forward to sharing all of this stuff with the fans in the future, and hopefully we can make more content, more fan films, get Charlie, get Eric, get Greg involved. Who knows, maybe even reach out to... Inez, Jason, and uh, Linda. Thanks again for having me here, and uh, I'll see you later. Bom, é isso, gente. Tá aí a fofoca completa, porque fofoca contada pela metade quase mata a fofoqueira. Então, eu fui atrás da fofoca completa para vocês. Eu tô muito ansiosa para ver esse projeto do Andrew. Eu vou deixar o link do canal dele aqui na descrição para vocês já se inscreverem lá porque logo mais ele deve começar a postar várias novidades, então tem que ficar de olho. E não esquece de se tornar membro aqui do nosso canal, a partir de R$ 2,99 por mês você tem acesso a vários benefícios, entre eles o nosso grupo secreto no Telegram e também os nossos emotes mais do que especiais e exclusivos para usar tanto nos comentários aqui embaixo, quanto também no nosso chat. Enfim, tem várias recompensas, então dá uma olhadinha, clica no botãozinho Seja Membro aqui embaixo. Se não tiver o botãozinho azul, tem o um link aqui também e tem o um link na descrição para vocês poderem contribuir e manterem vivo o sonho do Resident Evil Database. Eu vou ficando por aqui, um beijo para todo mundo, até o próximo vídeo e tchau!